Hi guys, Nick here from technologic.com and today ringing bells 251 rupees phone company has finally revealed their other devices. So this one which you are seeing right now is uh, the elegant model which is a 3G version for this device and will be costing you about 4000 rupees. At the front you will get the 3.2 megapixel camera beside it the earpiece and I don't know whether they are offering the LED notification over there or not. Below that you will get the 5 inch HD IPS display which is not a full HD display. Coming below you will get the back capacitive keys which are not backlit down portion. You will see the single speaker grill and beside it the primary mic over there. Coming to the left side there is nothing coming to the right side. You will get the volume rockers and power lock key which is quite good. Coming to the top side you will get the micro USB port beside it the 3.5mm audio jack. Coming to the back portion you will see the 8 megapixel camera below that the LED notification and no branding on this device. This device back is also being removable and below that you will get the 25mAh battery which is not branded over here it is written something in Chinese. You can insert dual sim over there and this device is also been expendable as you have the micro SD card slot over here as well and you will get the dual sim support over there. So coming to the hardware part of the device you will get the 1 GB of DDR3 RAM, 1.3 GB processor. Coming to the software part of the device, the device is loaded up with the Marshmallow Android 6.0 on top of it and the wallpaper which you are seeing right now is for Jelly Bean. I don't know why they have not changed it. The device looks pretty smooth and it is a stock Android which you are seeing. Coming to the storage part, you will be getting about 5.36 GB from 8 GB of internal memory. Coming to the RAM portion, you will be getting about 505 MB RAM, 3 out of 1 GB which is decent enough and uh, there is no application which are being installed over there coming to the camera application it is the stock camera application and after clicking the images it is quite decent as you can see over there the rest is almost same like other android devices so that's it for the video guys thanks for watching if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya and keep rocking yeah.